Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about creating curves. Now in Elias, almost everything starts with curves. You have to construct the curves in order to capture the design, then you create surfaces from it. So there are two tools uh, to create curves. So under palette, you go to curves, and there's a, the first one you're going to see is called a CV curve. So I'll just click on that. Um, how CV curves works is you click and it creates a curve as such. So basically you're plotting the CV, also called the, the control vertices of the curve like that. Another way to create the curve is called the edit point curve. So in this one, Let's say you want to create a degree three curve. All you have to do is click the beginning at the end and it creates the curves. Uh, it creates a degree three curve with two clicks. And then you adjust the CVs according to the shape that you want. Also, you can, uh, in order to adjust, uh, there are a few options within each tool. So if you let's double click, you can adjust the curve degree, you can control the knot spacing and so forth. Also on the uh, edit point curve, you can do the same thing. So for, let's say you want to create a degree five curve, all you have to do is click on five and you just snap here and you click here and it's going to create a degree five curve like this. Let me just turn this up to show you. Now, when you're creating curve, it is best to, it, it is best to create the curve in a side view because you just have a more control because in the 3d view, let's say you want to adjust this curve. Let me just turn the transparency down a little bit. You're limited to either X, or the Y or uh, uh, X or the Z or the Y direction, but it is kind of hard to get a, adjust, uh, kind of hard to adjust to the shape that you're looking for. So in the side view, when you go with a F6, because the CVs are free flowing, it is much uh, easier to adjust. Also with each curve, you can adjust the degree and the spans. So let's say you want to uh, adjust the degree of the curve that you already created because you need more data. All you have to do is go to a control panel here and adjust the degree like this. And also when you're creating this, you have to press accept. You can either click or use a space bar like that. So if you wanna, let's say you wanna add a span, you can do that too. So just add one more span, same thing, either click accept or press space bar like that. Now, you might be asking what's the difference between a degree and a uh, degree and a span. So degree, you can think of degree as a type of curve. So degree one, um, so with a degree one curve, so let's say for the e, uh, edit point curve, I'm just gonna change that to a one. You can only make a straight line. So let's say you wanna create a stairs for, for example, all you have to do is grid snap like this, and even though it's a, uh, it's got a lot of shape, it can only be straight. So let's say I want to adjust the CV here, it's only going to create the something in a straight line. And you'll see that on the right hand side, it's a degree one curve, but it's a seven span, it's a degree, uh, one degree, seven span curve. So you can think of degree as a type of curve, type of curve, and if you wanna, because it actually changes, uh, sort of changes the characteristic of the curve itself. So for example, you wanna create a degree five, uh, degree two curve, like this, it's a little bit of different character because right now by adding one more degree, I'm able to actually create acceleration and curvature within the curve. So you can think of degree as a type of curve and the span as a number of the amount of data within each type of curve. However, it is always best to reduce the number of span as much as possible, if possible, 
and it is really important to maintain a degree uh, single span curve as much as possible because it's going to give you the best result. Now, let's say you have a uh, you have a shape that you want to fit. So, for example. Let's say I want to create the shape. So I'm going to use an edit point curve. Oh, it's a degree. It's set to degree one, but that's okay. I'm going to change that to a degree two. Now, when you're uh, when you're creating curves, it is best to add more degrees until you increase. Uh, it is. Uh, let's say you have a complex, very complex shape. It is always best to increase the degrees before you increase the spans until degree five, and I'll explain to you why. So let's say you want to fit the shape. Of course, I don't have uh, I don't have enough data, so I'm gonna increase the degrees to three, and maybe I'll try to fit the shape a little. Again, I'm closer, but not enough, so I'm gonna increase the degree to four. So maybe I'll adjust this shape a little bit like that. Maybe I'll increase to five. Of course, so when you're now, I'm just doing is. Uh, doing this as a rough example, but if you actually want to do this, you'll actually create this in three sections. However, uh, uh, so you can create the curves like this. Now, I increase the degree to five before, if I need to add a span, so let's say I want to fit this a little bit better, so I'm gonna, I think I'm getting pretty close. <clears throat> This. Also, if you wanna adjust the CVs, all you have to do is Control Shift, left mouse button, pick CV like this. That's gonna pick your CV, and you can say Move. And after you select the tool, it's already selected. So all you have to do is just click and drag, click and drag. Now I sort of fitted this curve, but I, if you notice, I increased the degree to five before I added a span, uh, and I'm going to explain to you why. So, in a curve, so you have a degree. Uh, let's increase the quality draw position, and I'm just going to copy paste these curves, and I'm going to make them a degree three. Maybe I'll adjust this CV2 like this. Now, with this one, I'm going to add a span. And I'm going to add a curvature comb. Now, notice what happens to the curvature comb when I move a CV in one of them, uh, or for both of them. So I'm just going to grab the second CV here maybe something more in the middle. So I'll grab the third CV in each curve. Now I'm going to sort of move it like this. And you'll see that there's a peak in the curvature comb. Basically, the curvature comb, what it does is it tells you the acceleration of the curve. So the higher the bar, I guess, the higher the comb, the more acceleration and more, more radius or tighter the radius, a curve curve has so right now you'll see more acceleration and more I guess a more more of a bend towards the end that's what you're seeing here that's why their curvature cone is higher it also tells the tells you the smoothness of the curve and as you can see the top one even though I moved they started as the same curve the only thing that I did to the bottom one is added a span instead of a degree increase instead of increasing the degree and as you can see you'll see a peak or almost a kink in the cur uh, in the curve. So, the, however, if I let me just go back, if I did the same thing with the degree five curve and added a span, let's increase the span to two, and press accept, and I move the CV like this you'll see that the curvature comb is still smooth. You don't see a kink. So it is very critical that if you want to adjust the curve to fit whatever shape that you want to fit, it is very important 
that you increase the degree until five before you need to add spans. Okay, that concludes this lesson and thank you for watching.